What's up, guys? Welcome to our guide on common issues and troubleshooting solutions for stepper motors. Today, we explore the challenges that might arise with these precision devices and provide expert tips on diagnosing and resolving issues efficiently. Let's dive right in. Number one, how to control stepper motor direction. For two-phase motors, simply swap the connections of one phase, such as positive A and negative A, in the case of three-phase motors, interchange the wires of adjacent phases, such as U and V, to adjust the direction of rotation. Number two, how to address vibration and noise. Excessive vibration and noise in stepper motors may indicate operation within an oscillation area. To mitigate this issue, adjust the input signal frequency, CP, to avoid the oscillation range, or utilize micro-stepping drivers to reduce step angle and ensure smoother operation. Number three, how to troubleshoot non-operating stepper motors. If a stepper motor fails to operate after powering up, several factors may be at play. Investigate potential causes such as overload stalling with audible whining noise, the motor being in an offline state, or issues with the control system's pulse signal transmission or wiring connections. Number four, how to resolve motor jerking and interruptions. Intermittent jerking and inability to run continuously are common issues with stepper motors. Start troubleshooting by verifying correct wiring between the motor windings and the driver. Additionally, check if the input pulse signal frequency is too high, or if the acceleration and deceleration settings are appropriately configured. Number five, when to utilize offline signals in hybrid stepper motor drivers. The offline signal free in hybrid stepper motor drivers is typically used to disengage the motor under specific circumstances. When the free signal is at a low level, the driver cuts off current to the motor, allowing manual rotation or adjustments. Reset the free signal to a high level to resume automatic control after manual operations. Number six, how to select power supply voltage and current for stepper motor drivers. Choosing the right power supply for stepper motor drivers involves determining the driver's voltage requirements and the working current. Linear power supplies typically operate at 1.1 to 1.3 times the output phase current, I, while switching power supplies may range from 1.5 to 2 times the I for optimal performance. Number 7. How to optimize power supply voltage for stepper motor drivers. Stepper motor drivers accept a wide range of input voltages, selected based on the motor's operating speed and response demands. Higher speeds or faster responses necessitate higher voltages, but ensure that the power supply voltage ripple remains within the driver's maximum input voltage to prevent damage. Lower voltages can promote smoother motor operation and reduce vibration. Number eight, what is the link between microstepping and resolution? Microstepping, also known as subdivision, aims primarily to enhance stepper motor resolution and reduces low frequency vibrations. For instance, in a two-phase hybrid stepper motor with a step angle of 1.8 degrees, if the subdivision setting of the driver is configured to 4, the motor's operational resolution would be 0.45 degrees per pulse. Nevertheless, it is not solely indicative of precision. The accuracy of motor movement also depends on factors such as micro-stepping driver's current control precision. Different manufacturers may offer varying levels of precision, and higher micro-stepping values may present challenges in precision control. Number 9. Why the torque reduces with increasing speed in stepper motors. The torque of a stepper motor decreases with higher speeds due to the back electromotive force generated by the motor windings inductance. As the frequency increases, the counter electromotive force grows, leading to a reduction in phase current and subsequently diminishing torque output. As we wrap up our discussion on the FAQs of stepper motor troubleshooting, remember that proactive maintenance, accurate configuration, and attentive diagnostics are essential for optimizing stepper motor performance and longevity. By implementing these strategies, you can enhance the reliability and efficiency of your stepper motor systems. Looking for top-tier solutions for your next automation project? We invite you to check out our online catalog of stepper motors and many more powerful accessories to leverage the precision, reliability, and versatility of these innovative devices in your next automation build. At ATO, we offer different types of stepper motors including two-phase or three-phase, unipolar or bipolar hybrid stepper motors from NEMA frame size 8 to 34. If you're looking for a stepper motor for your applications and needs, please visit our Stepper Motors page for our most up-to-date product pricing and availability. Thanks for being here. Be sure to rate thumbs up if you find this video quite helpful. If you want to learn more about the practical tips on optimizing your stepper motor performance and stay up-to-date on automation technologies, 
Do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from ATO. Looking forward to seeing you again soon.